She's received nods from the Royal Institute of British Architects in 2018, granting her a fellowship. And in 2014, Ruth Land Schumann's not-for-profit Public Color received the National Arts and Humanities Youth Program Award presented to her and Bronx student Alicia Almonte by then First Lady Michelle Obama. It is that kind of recognition and seeing the group at work here in the Bronx that had New York City Council Member Mark Joni invite Schumann and her team to his district. A few years ago, I was driving in the borough of the Bronx and I saw a few kids that were painting a wall with geometric shapes. I pulled over, okay. called them over, says, you guys did this? And they were like, yeah. Wow. I said, who are you? And they said, we're public color. Gave them my card, Googled them, and when I got into the city council, that was one of the first organizations that I met which I can fund them. The work that they do, the colors that they use, the difference that they make in neighborhoods speaks volumes. And this is the result. Destiny Manises, who is recruited as a junior high school student in Throg's Neck, is getting help from council member Joni in transforming this cafeteria, which doubles as an after school space for teaching and learning. I really like painting and it motivates people and brings positivity and that's what I'm all about. Environments send subliminal messages. And it's very important that we send a message of respect, of inspiration, of energy. About 25 painters ranging in age from 12 to 18 years old took part in this project, which can take as long as 10 weeks to complete. The positive reaction from students in the school is so great that they can recruit anywhere from 15 to 20 students that are required to take part in a three day a week program and participate four to six years before college and then through college. The assistant principal came down this morning and she just couldn't believe it. I mean, she said this is so fabulous. Recruited in a junior high school, Tyler Miller is also seeing the results and benefits of the program. It's fun to be here and stuff with them. They helped me a lot. From beige and white to bright orange, this is just one example of the many changes in this room. If you'd like more information on the program, you can go to publiccolor.org. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.